Hello there viewers, how are you doing? I'm doing great because I'm playing Farming Simulator 22 and before I get started with this episode and explain what is actually happening on Wednesday I missed the contract series because I was sorting out my computer still because it actually broke on me. I had to get my tower sent off so I could actually repair stuff that was going on because I don't know what was going on with it. And it turns out it was the hard drives so I had to get them sorted out. Of course get new parts which needed. And then, of course, I had to set up Windows, I had to set up all my software, OBS, Vegas, you name it, all of it from the very beginning. Even my mic settings on OBS wasn't even saved, even though I did a profile on them. So it comes to actually getting ready and prepping for recording. My simulator went perfect. That was awesome. So I did an episode on that. Farm is life. Thumbs up. It was great. I was actually amazed how great it went. Because the game worked. It looked beautiful. And I kept up with what I actually needed to actually do. Because remember, I've had like a week away. So I didn't know what the plans was, but it all came together. So it comes to the actual uh, contractor series. Started um, to load up the map. It wouldn't actually do anything. And I was like, uh-oh, what's going on here? Because this is a brand new series. And I'm like, if this mucks up, I just have to redo everything from the very beginning. And I'll just have to cut that grass. Fingers crossed that that contract came up straight away. But luckily, I kept with it. And that map is working but I didn't have the right time to actually record do an episode on it so I left it so unfortunately there wasn't a contractors episode and comes to the biggest pain in the room I actually wanted to do an elephant in the room joke, but I just couldn't. Uh, New Horizon. Yes, that map. That map which I really wanted to actually work with and see what is actually happening. Yep. It loaded up and froze. And every single time it throws on me. I tried to sort out the settings, clear the cache files, uninstall the game, install the game, and I spent ages on it, and that's another reason why there isn't any content for yesterday or the other day. Because, of course, this series is now switched from Monday, because I'm having Mondays off, plain and simple, to the weekend. And I haven't fixed a date yet for it. So it can either come out on the Saturday or the Sunday. I need to actually turn around and say, right, this is the day it comes out. So I am going to try and push for Sunday. So every Sunday from now on after this episode, 
the value of the old farm will be shown and then any other series after it which I do need you to jump in the comments down below and actually say which map you would like me to actually do how you would like me to actually do said map what type of series you would like to actually see as well I've kind of got my own thoughts on the map and the actual series but the map's kind of old as in from the very beginning of modded maps for Barbie Simulator 22 so yeah it's an old map so I don't know if it's going to actually get any views because the maps I'm hoping the series might get the views people might be interested in that type of series that's why I actually ask for comments down below so I actually know what people are actually watching I only started doing the contracted series because I did notice a few people doing that and I was like hey oh isn't that a bit like survival challenge or survival mode but yeah when they actually started and explained things no it's not every single one of them even though it's classed as the contracted series every single one's got their own spin to it how they actually do stuff how the contracts work is there any penalties is there any extra bonuses what's the actual volume of completion it's all different and mine's different and I actually like it and the equipment that I'm using it's not the equipment that you see all the time like when you actually load up a map go on to a new farmer and you get a set of equipment that seems to be always the same. I don't know why. I don't know why that modders who create their own mods start off with the exact same equipment or near enough spot on exactly the same to how the original in-game maps work. You would have thought, right, I'm a modder, let's put a different vehicle in or if it's the same let me pick a different color it's something different even though the vehicle might be the same but the color is like oh someone's actually got a original idea there instead of keeping with the norm so that's why I've uh, tried to actually keep out of the norm for the contractor series. So with this one, it was just to see how it actually went. Because I did start off with New Farmer. But instead of keeping the starter equipment, what I did was sell all of it. And then buy the equipment in. But it had to be the same equipment and the same vehicles, what you started off with. Same horsepower and everything else. The only difference is the make and model, the branding. And I do believe for this JCB, I think I am losing out on two horsepower from the actual tractor that you start off with from the very beginning. Trailer had to be around about the same capacity. I think mine is 500 litres more. 
I do believe. But that's all I started off with. What the map gave you. If the map gave you at the beginning two tractors, I would have had to search for two new tractors, but keep the same horsepower as what the other two had. I'm not going to go, right, that's give me a tractor or two. I'm going to get a 300 horsepower uh, engine for it. Why would I do that? That's like kind of end game horsepower. So I'm giving myself end game equipment. It don't seem right. But here. Right. Enough of talk on that. Let's talk about this series a bit more. I'm actually ploughing this field so I can actually put a arable crop in. Because I decided that the meadow grass, the grass in front of me there, as well as the grass over there, what got briefly three cut, is enough for this series. I'm still waiting for the wheat over there to actually be ready to harvest. So I'm thinking to do this harvest on this field, then the wheat harvest, sowing another crop and then do that harvest and then that will be the end of the series so basically I have got this harvest what's coming up and then the next harvest after that one will be the last harvest around oh, how much money I've got and then that will go to the next series. And with New Horizon failing, I need to pick a new series for that. That's why I asked for help in the comments down below. Whereas this one is this harvest, next harvest, series ends and the money from here goes over to the next map and the next series and go on from there but of course with that I'm not going to buy everything which is like the best ever. I'm still going to, uh, of course, start off small. But I'm going to have a bigger threshold than what the actual base game would give me from the very beginning. And I don't have to restrict myself to having what the game starts off with. Basically, I'm like, right. This is the map, this is how many fields I'll buy, and I'll have to work with that. Kind of a bit like uh, Court Farms. But Court Farms had difficulties in the mods weren't working, and I kept hitting like these uh, story barriers where I was like, I don't know what to do because I'm kind of doing this on a different map. I don't want to stay the same. Like for the past few episodes, for all the three series, it had the grass cutting. And I'm like, I didn't plan this. And I feel kind of bored. And I'm the person who's creating these videos and 
play in the game. And I was like, oh. What, what's today's plan? Cut grass, okay. The day when I need record for something else. What's today's plan? Cut grass. Oh. Rinse and repeat, it just didn't go down well. And yes, I know, I haven't actually spoke about the missing episode. If you actually uh, notice, you'll be like, uh, if he's recently cut the grass, where's the bales? Well, they're actually in storage at the moment. And I kind of kerfuffled. Anyways, because I did the bales in a certain size. And when it came to the collection of said bales, well, the wrapping, shall we say, the wrapper was like, oh, these aren't supported. I actually went one size bigger than I was supposed to do. So I kind of ruined all the bells, what were supposed to be silage, because it was going to get wrapped, and I couldn't do anything. So I had to buy Omatana's silo, which is over there in the yonder, as a temporary fix to solve that problem. So basically, I put grass inside. And it ferments the grass for me and turns it into silage. It was going to be turned into silage anyways, so it's bad to actually get a production to do it rather than the pit, because when I used the pit last time, I lost about 20,000 litres of grass, which means 20,000 litres of silage. Which is a lot of money. That is why I ended up going with wrapping and trying to have a baler with silage additive. Alright, that explanation is over. This series explanation is over. And I spoke for the whole majority of plowing this field up. So I'm going to actually cut off now, finish bowing, and go from there. And there we go. Perfect. Now, let's look at this then. Can it show me a state of ploughedness? Yes, it can. There we go. Nicely done. No gaps. Perfect. Right. Lift you up. Hold you. And now is the time to actually show you what's actually going on over here. As you can actually tell, there is the wrapper, which was going to wrap up the bales, but in the end, couldn't cloud can go there there we go and let's go like this so you can actually see the mower as you can actually see is widespread so no swaths Ted is there cedars there as well and over here this is where the magic is happening so I have at the moment got 300 thousand litres of grass which is going to be turned into silage i've got hay which is going to be turned into silage i didn't want to put this in because it was 20k to actually put that in because i wanted to actually put in a different building so going to productions and that is a tanners production one I'm using for the silage. 
I wanted to put in one of these buildings here which is a tall mixed ration mixing station where you actually put in straw, hay, silage I don't know if this one has the ability to say do you want to put the mineral feed in or you have to put it in so I wanted to actually put that building up anyhow that is how I was going to actually feed the cows because that is the next big step the cows I've of course got a lot of straw already saved up as you can see here and I have got hay up there as well and where is my other vehicles there you are right so that's all the vehicles what about my other place my allotment how is that going I did find out in the previous episode that the coffee bean mod kind of corrupted itself and deleted the actual stations here so I thought you know what I'll just leave that for a different series and just delete it so that's why there's a massive gap there everything up here is working nicely so all this light is being sold automatically the grapes and olives are going to be sent to the production yard and then sold so yeah everything is going nicely so once this has been turned to silage I can figure out how much I'm going to be keeping and how much I'm going to be selling but by the time that is done, I reckon the meadow grass will be ready to actually cut again. And I could probably get that cut to do the silage for the cows and just sell all the silage from there. Automatically. I don't know. We'll see. But I do need to take care of the fertilization on this field as well as the next field over there and I do believe this one over here as well and that is a positive yep so I've got three fields to fertilize in the next episode and I need to figure out which crop is going into the ground because it's beginning of May so I have got the option of corn. I could do a chaff harvest. And turn that all into silage. Maybe soybeans. Sorghum. As well as grapes. Because why not? I <laughs> may sure mention them. Olives. Of course, poplar, grass, also radish, and alf alpha, but mainly crops, it's soybeans or corn. Most likelihood, it will be corn, and I'll go for probably a 50-50 harvest. 50% 50 corn, which can be sold as corn, and then the other will be 50% chaff which will be turned into silage. Actually, prices. Let's have a look at that. Corn is going to net me about 2,000 per thousand liters, whereas silage is way less, so yeah. May sure I'll actually sell it all as corn. So looks like I'll be doing that. I do believe my harvester can have a corn header added to it. Yep. 
and it's not that bad actually so you know what i'll be getting ready for a corn harvest as well as a wheat harvest but you know what this is the end of the episode thank you very much for watching hope they enjoyed the episode and as always remember i appreciate you all and you'll see me in the next one bye